Networked quantum computers, INQ acquires assets of entangled networks. So on January 10th, INQ announced its acquisition of the operating assets of entangled networks, which is a Toronto-based company focused on enabling computation across multiple distributed quantum processors. And as part of this transaction, the Entangled Networks team will join IonQ, launch IonQ Canada, strengthening IonQ's already growing international presence. And Entangled Networks, which was previously funded by investors like Our Crowd, marks IonQ's first corporate acquisition, which I believe demonstrates their ongoing market and industry leadership in the quantum industry. You see, classical computers are made by putting as many cores as possible onto a single processor, and then networking those processors and computers all together. And applications are then divided across multiple cores and processors to distribute the workload evenly, with networking used to communicate between those various processors. And for quantum computing to scale significantly, they need to follow a similar model, Future quantum computers will need to be built from multiple processors and all networked together. But unlike classical networking, quantum computers allow entanglement across cores to form a single, much larger quantum computer. And keep in mind that quantum computers use the network for purely computation, not communication. But back to this acquisition. This acquisition of entangled networks further realizes INQ's goal of developing quantum systems capable of supporting the quantum networks of the future. INQ's own quantum networking hardware is currently under development, and INQ expects to demonstrate an early vision of a quantum network between two quantum computers at some point in 2023. We believe INQ is a clear market leader, both commercially and in system performance, which is why our team is so excited to join forces. We are ready to work on amplifying INQ's quantum computing solutions to bring even more powerful applications to our customers. Aaron Bradutch, CEO of Entangled Networks. And according to Peter Chapman, partnering with Entangled Networks furthers our goal of making INQ the world's best performing quantum computing company. In the acquiring of Entangled Networks assets, INQ will benefit from not only some of the top experts in quantum architecture, but also from software tools that we intend to use to drive substantial speedups in our system performance. We are also excited about the opening of IonQ Canada. This expansion will help us support the thriving quantum computing community in Canada and further our collaborations with INQ partners and customers. So, following a year where, honestly, the quantum computing industry experienced tremendous growth, technological advancements, and outside investments, I believe that INQ has strongly positioned itself as a leader in the field for delivering powerful and commercially available quantum systems. Additionally, INQ's strong financial standing has attracted some of the brightest minds around the world, assisting in their goal of achieving industry-first quantum research hardware, and software achievements. And keep in mind that with INQ, they are best known for their industry-leading hardware, including INQ Aria, which is currently the most powerful known quantum computer in the world with 25 algorithmic qubits. And moreover, Aria is also publicly available via Microsoft Azure and Dell Hybrid Quantum Computing Solution. And if we look at things more recently, INQ even established a dominant position in quantum software as well, boasting application partnerships with customers like Airbus, GE, Dow Chemistry, and Hyundai Motors, and with contracts with the United States Air Force Research Lab and the University of Maryland. So with all these important deals under INQ, I think this is really cool to finally see their first acquisition that they've made, and I'm expecting to see some really exciting stuff from this company over the next few years. And with that, I think I'll wrap up the video here. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you next time.